welcome to Infinity Learn Neat by Sri Chaitanya. So today we are going to talk about a very important but at the same time a very very interesting topic and that is going to be PCR. Yes, PCR is basically a process or you can just call it a copy machine but not for the paper, it is a copy machine for DNA. Yes, when we talk about biotechnology, so this is one of the major processes that comes under the category of biotechnology and it's termed as PCR or polymerase chain reaction. With the help of this process, you can actually make millions of the copies of the DNA even without the need of a cell. Now, you must be thinking that how exactly this PCR work and what are the actual uses of the PCR? So, let's first attempt the first question. Now, how exactly the PCR work? So, we require a few things for the PCR to work. The first thing is going to be a DNA segment that needs to be amplified or for which you require the copies. Then we require certain primers or the oligonucleotides. Then we also require a buffer solution for this process to take place. Also, we require DNA nucleotides along with DNA polymerase. But in this particular condition, we require a special type of DNA polymerase that is heat resistant yes because in this process the temperature is comparatively higher so we require a DNA polymerase enzyme that can survive in that particular temperature so we utilize a special kind of DNA polymerase enzyme known as TAC polymerase TAC polymerase is taken from a particular microbe known as Thermus aquaticus Thermus aquaticus is that microorganism that can survive in hot springs and comparatively higher temperature now, the PCR process takes place in three major steps. The first one is denaturation, second is annealing and the third one is extension or DNA synthesis. First of all, let's discuss about the first step that is denaturation. As clearly the name suggests, denaturation denatures the two strands of the DNA with the help of higher temperature. So in the first step, we can separate the two strands of the DNA with the help of heat, right? In the second step that says annealing, we utilize the primers so that the DNA segment can be amplified. In the second step, the temperature is comparatively lower from the first step. Now coming to the third and the last step which is extension or DNA synthesis. So clearly we synthesize the DNA in the third step and actual copies of DNA are made in the third step. In the third step, we utilize the DNA nucleotides along with the DNA polymerase enzyme and in the third step, the temperature is comparatively higher from the second step. So once all the three steps are done, that is how one cycle of the PCR is completed. And after one cycle of the PCR is completed, you get two strands of the DNA. Now, it depends on you that how many more copies of the DNA you require. And on the basis of that, you can perform as many cycles of the PCR as you want, right? So that is how the PCR works. Now coming to the second question that what exactly are the uses of PCR? So PCR is is one of the most important techniques when it comes to biotechnology because it is utilized in almost each and every field like medicine, agriculture, environment, biotechnology, etc. In medicine, majorly we utilize PCR for diagnostic purposes, right? In forensics, we utilize it for identifying the crime scenes and in environment biotechnology, we can utilize it to check the quality of the water as well. So that was it for today's session or today's work video where we learned about PCR in the most interesting way. Now, if you like this video and you thought that you learned something interesting, so please do not forget to hit the like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do it right away. Press the bell icon so that you do not miss any upcoming notifications on your feed. Thank you.